I call for Otis Morgan. Otis Morgan, could you come to the Four million start? So it's right down the Mobbury end of the course. So please make sure everybody is off the course. So we move on now, ladies and gentlemen, to our third race of the afternoon. This is the Tropic Breeze Ladies Open four mile race. And as you probably gathered, they're going to go down the uh, Ivy Bridge or Mobbury end of the course. And uh, the first one we see out is number eight. That's Lady V, uh, written by Miss Thomasina, Thomasina Eason. And that's purple, the silver stars, green sleeves, purple cap, the silver star. Following this one out is number three. That's Bellflower Boy. Written by Miss Pippa Glanville, Emerald Green with the orange stars and sleeves, and a star on the cap. In behind this, we see uh, number five. That's Cecile de Valanges. That's written by Miss Joe Buck, yellow with a red diamond, hoop sleeves, and a red cap. Next out is number seven, Florence Mary, written by Miss Lucy Major. Uh, red and blue hoops with a hoop sleeves and a green cap. Following this one down is number one, Alta Anthella, uh, written by Miss H. Godfrey. Purple with yellow hoops and armlets and a hooped cap. Next out is uh, Moyne 907. Number nine, written by Miss Hannah Welsh, white with a maroon star and omelets, and a maroon cap with a white star. Going down beside that one was number four, that's Blazing Buck, uh, written by Miss Hannah Lewis. Uh, black with yellow seams, yellow sleeves, black omelets, and a yellow cap. And uh, the final one to go down was uh, number 10, that's Nessa, uh, written by Miss Sophie King. Uh, purple with the orange spots, purple sleeves, and an orange cap. So eight runners then go to post uh, for the uh, ladies open four miler. As you've uh, gathered, they're starting at the bottom of the home straight and they're gonna complete just over three circuits and uh, they're due away at 3.10. So we're around about three minutes until post time. the six to four favorite. Six to four, Blazing Buck. Two to one is Bellflower Boy. Seven to two, Cecile de Valanges. Uh, four to one is Lady V. Uh, then is six to one, Florence Mary. And then they uh, jump up to tens for the outsiders. Nessa, Moyne 907, and Alta Anthelia, or Anthela, is, uh, they're all 10 to one chances. So we're at post time. So flags are up there, they're under orders. And they're away, flag is down, they're away. Eight runners and riders then step away from the start for the uh, four mile ladies open race. And race towards the first of their obstacles, plain fence at the bottom of the, or the, the bottom of the home straight, and Bellflower Boy takes them towards it. Alta Onthelia though, accelerated into it and takes a lead of a length over Bellflower Boy. Now Moyne 907 on the inside shares third, alongside Nessa and Lady V on his outside. Following these through then is Cecile de Valanges on the inside of Blazing Buck and uh, Florence Mary, the back marker as they cross fence number two. And they all sail over it and have all jumped it uh, really well. As they quickly make their way onto another plane fence then, Alteron Thela sails over it. And again, they're all over safely. And now turn right-handed and race along the level before uh, they go up the back straight. So Alteron Thela uh, by about uh, three lengths now. Bellflower Boy in second with Pippa Glanville. A length then back to Nessa and Sophie King. As they start their run up the back straight. In fourth we see Lady V, Moyne 907 is next with Hannah Welsh. Hannah looking for a quick double after her victory on the Polo the Mum in the uh, previous race. Um, following these through is Cecile de Valanges and Joe Buck races on the inside of Blazing Buck and uh, Florence Mary just fractionally the back marker as they cross 
Another plain fence then, and the leader, Alta Anthela, jumped it uh, really well, saw a lovely stride there, and uh, sailed over it. As uh, we wait for them to uh, quickly reappear behind the trees and race across the uh, far end of the course. Alta Anthela, by about four lengths now, the Bellflower Boy, length then on the outside, and jumps up into second, Nessa, relegates Bellflower Boy back to third. Lady V and Thomasina Eason uh, race in fourth. Thomasina rode her first winner down at Great Refue about a month ago on her first ride in public. So real good score that for Thomasina. And uh, looking for similar things this afternoon. So they've uh, taken the right hand out and uh, coming down over the hill then. Alter Anthela still clear by about four lengths to Bellflower Boy. A similar distance now. Back to Moyne 907, who just relegates Nessa back to fourth as they race across the level then. <clears throat> and onto another plain fence, and the leaders have sailed over it. In fact, they're all over safely. Ultra Anthela leads them into the home straight then. Still with a good advantage over Bellflower Boy. Moyne 907 and Nessa in behind this as they come into the home straight then. And race towards another plain fence. Ultra on Thela, again, spring heeled at it, jumps it perfectly, and now prepares to pass the judge then. Two full circuits ahead of them to race, Ultra on Thela by about four lengths, Nessa into second, Bellflower Boy on the inside in three, Moyne 907 and Lady V are next, Florence Mary in behind this, and the two back markers are Cecile de Valanges and uh, Blazing Buck, who is uh, just a little bit sticky over that one, but they continue on, quickly to another plain fence at the end of the home straight this time and they're all over that safely and now race right-handed along the bottom of the course for the second time Alta Anthela still by about four lengths to Bellflower Boy Nessa is three in four minus Moyne 907 Florence Mary is next with Lady V and uh, Cecile de Valange is in behind this and Blazing Buck and Hannah Lewis, the back markers. So they're around about halfway up the back straight then, making their way up to uh, the only plain fence in the back straight. Ultra on Thela, the nominated front runner, and uh, set a decent gallop. Remember, this is the uh, extended uh, race over four miles, and uh, they haven't hung around. Ground riding on the good side. They're all safely over that one, and race in behind the trees and across the top end of the course for the second time. They reappear, Alta Althela, still by about four lengths, Bellflower Boy back on the inside of Nessa as they cross another plain fence then. Moy 907 was just a little bit slower over it. Lady V is on that one's outside. Florence Mary is next. And we see uh, Cecile de Valanges and uh, Blazing Buck uh, still the back marker as they now prepare to turn right-handed at the bottom end of the course once more and race back down the hill towards us and Alta Anthela has increased the lead up to the, about eight lengths now over Bellflower Boy and Pippa Glanvo who's giving chase in second a similar distance uh, then back to uh, the leader of the pack which is Nessa alongside Moyne 907 as I'm Alta Anthela sailed over that. It's a jump from fence to fence so far, the leader. Uh, really looks to be going well on the ground and uh, leads the charge into the home straight uh, for the penultimate time. And uh, races towards uh, the uh, final fence in the circuit's time. And again, sailed over it, jumped it really well. And uh, now the rest are starting to get a little bit busier in behind. So circuit left to race in, Alta Anthela. Still by about four, maybe five lengths of a Bellflower Boy. Nessa and Lady V are next with Moy 907. Blazing Buck now has improved a couple of places up into sixth. Cecile de Valanges is next and the back marker Florence Mary as they make their way onto the uh, final plane fence in the home straight. The leaders are right over it. In fact, they all are now and uh, race right-handed across the uh, side of the course, across on the level before they go up the back straight and still Alta Anthela by about three lengths now, 
And uh, they're in behind Bellflower Boy and Lady V, Nessa. They're the uh, chief pursuers as they uh, start their run up the back straight. A plain fence uh, run at the end, and Alpha and Fella, now they're starting to snap at his heels. In behind Bellflower Boy and Lady V, in, on the inside, Moin 907, Florence Mary, Nessa now wider out on the course, Blazing Buck and Cecile de Valange is the two back markers, but they're packing up in behind this uh, long-time leader as they take another plain fence then at the top end of the course. Cecile de Valange is the casualty there, a faller. And uh, Joe Buck yet to rise. We'll try and keep an eye on her. Uh, she's still down at the moment. So uh, they race across the top end of the course then for the final time. And Alta Anthela is uh, all out now. Two, maybe three lengths clear of Lady V, who jumps up alongside uh, Bellflower Boy in second. But they really are trying to wear down Alta Anthela now. Bellflower Boy in second. Lady V being tackled now by Florence Mary for third as they race right-handed and uh, begin their turn for home. Alder Anthela, Jocker looks over her shoulder and she's going to see Bellflower Boy, the chief danger. Florence Mary, Lady V and then Blazing Buck now being produced on the outside. Blazing Buck making up ground really readily and goes up now to tackle the leader which is now Bellflower Boy. So they race down into the second last then. Two out coming up then. Bellflower Boy in the centre. Blazing Buck on the outside. On the inside Inside the long time leader, Elder Anthela. Florence Mary in behind this. So they race up to the top of the home straight. Final fence is in the home straight. And they race slightly right handed now. And Bellflower Boy being tackled by Blazing Buck. Final fence then. Good jump by Blazing Buck. That takes the lead. Goes a half length clear of a Bellflower Boy and Pippa Glanville. Florence Mary back in third. But Blazing Buck done enough. Goes away, scores by about three lengths. Bellflower Boy in second. Florence Mary is next. Good race on between Ultra and Fella. And uh, Lady B in behind this. Nessa will be the final one to finish as uh, Moy 907 is pulled up.